Tulsa is having a solid season so far, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. This team has two faces. I asked the coach which version of the team is going to show up, and he said the lack of preparation is the reason for their inconsistencies in the past, but that they're prepared tonight. We'll see. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Check out the shooting guards. These kids are a treat to watch. They're in the starting lineup for a reason that should not disappoint. Tempo. Early in the ball game, these two teams try to set their particular tempo on the left side. Well, Dick, that didn't take very long. I tell you, they're quick out of the game, baby. So, Dick, so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior, and they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. The Ramblers have been completely silenced by the losing streak that they're on. Desperate for a win, wouldn't you say, Dick? I know for a fact that their coach has been working them day and night. So expect to see an exciting, high-energy ball game today. They need a solid effort from everyone on their team. Both teams looking to get things going here. Number 30 receives the pass. Side. He launches a three. Nails the jumper. Dribbles around the trap. That trap didn't scare him, Brad. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Let's take another look at this deep three. Inbounds play on the baseline. Out on the wing. Cross court. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound on the building. On the outside. Goes up with it. Off the mark. Ball oh, handles the feed. side. He tries the three ball. How about that play that went through the high post again? You know, it's a good offense when you can position a player at the high post and then have the ball delivered to a scoring threat. And the slam. Didn't look like anything was going to keep him from the basket there, Dick. Well, those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about. He unloads. Missed it. The Golden Hurricanes can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled a prevent the easy basket. are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Gets the first shot. He 
makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards that they have. Yeah, that helps. It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Here comes the ball screen. 2 3 zone. Gotta get that wing, gotta get that gap. From the corner. Nope. Cross court. teams are looking to get something going here. Well, Mr. Vitale looks as though they're going to play with some full court press here. Defensively, you must be really on your toes and be ready to react. Active is the word that comes to mind when you're pressing in the full court. They're working around the arc. And see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. The inbounds play. mistake by the senior. Clemens receives the pass. Now that young guy just can't continue to pick up fouls. They need him in the game. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. You know, seniors are a dying breed in college basketball these days. If you're a coach that's lucky enough to have a couple, it can definitely help you sleep at night knowing there are guys in your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful. He hits it. Now looking to create with the ball 
ball screen. And a pick and roll is one play that so many teams use these days. A great way to buy a step for the dribbler. Takes it strong to the hoop. I tell you, you know, I like the way this kid uses his body, Brad. He's the type of guy you want in your roster. When you want that inside presence, his size and power is an asset. The Golden Hurricane looking to attack in transition. Number 31 is whistled for the foul. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy baskets. Chance for an easy one. shot from left of the circle and come up short out on the way wow what hops baby what hops and they burn a timeout here we'll have more NCAA coverage coming up in a moment. ready to start again. The hammers at home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Oh, this man's in trouble. On the left side.
receives the ball. He unloads a three. Knocked it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 31 picks up the foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nessler, I like that type of play. He saves in the defense. No easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He'll visit the charity strike. Misses the first shot. Second one, no good. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just are knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. so far this season, Dick. Every game you have to bring it. It doesn't matter if you average two points or 20. Everybody in the squad has to be ready to get it done if they're called upon. Working it around the perimeter. Ten seconds to shoot. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. Inside. For the bucket. He gets that one to fall. Hey, you should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. They work it around the perimeter. for three. They can't find the range right now behind the arc. They should start looking elsewhere. Maybe try and get an easy one inside. Well, this man's in trouble. Both teams looking to get things going here. From the top of the circle. Nice job of dribbling off the screen, but the shot just didn't fall side. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the deep corner. Scores it. About four minutes remaining. They've got him trapped. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He misses the fadeaway. Blocks the shot. Clemens handles the feed. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. the jump shot. Knocks it down. About three minutes remaining. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Gets the J to fall. Continues to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? 
10 seconds. Puts it on the floor and up and under. That's had a good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. About two minutes remaining. He fouled him. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Shots have a chance of going in. The Ramblers have put together a real team effort so far, Dick. You know, as a coach, it's great to get all five guys on the floor working together. That's how you get wins. It takes the pressure off of the stores and gives the opposition fits. side. Now looking to attack. Gave it up. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. 